Okay, today we're going to solve a division problem with four dividend, four digit dividend, and we're going to use a standard algorithm. So, the first thing we need to do is go ahead and divide the divisor into the dividend. As you can see, we're going to divide four into each number if possible. So, first let's go ahead and look and see if we can divide four into seven. Yes, we can. So, I'd like to ask the question, let me put a multiplication symbol here. 4 times what equals 7 without going over? And I can say 1. So let me just change the color. 1. 4 times 1 is 4. So the next thing I need to do is subtract. I'm going to say 7 minus 4 is 3. The next question I need to ask is, can 4 divide into 3? No. Because the divisor is larger than our dividend here. So what I need to do next is bring down the 5 so I can continue to divide. So now I want to ask the next question. 4 times what equals 35 without going over? Mm, 7, 4 times 7 is 28. Can I do 4 times 8 which is 32? Hmm, sounds close, yeah. 4 times 8. So I'll put 8 above the 5 now I ask the question, four, what is 4 times 8 is 32? Okay, so now I need to subtract this. What is 5 minus 2? It is 3. And 3 minus 3 is 0, so I don't have to put anything there. Okay, can I divide 4 into 3? No. My divisor is larger than my dividend, so I need to bring the next digit down. I'm going to bring down 1. Okay, now I have the number 31. So I need to ask a question. 4 times what equals 31 without going over? I just said 4 times 8 is 32, so I know 8 is, is too much. So I need to go with one digit lower, and I would use 7. So now I need to know what is 4 times 7. 4 times 7 is 28. So I'll put that here. I need to continue to subtract. So I can't subtract 1 minus 8, so I need to borrow from the 10's, and this is going to become 2. I'm going to move a set of 10 here, so I'm going to add 10 to 1, and that becomes 11. So now I ask myself, what is 11 minus 8? It is 3. What is 2 minus 2 is 0. So, as we already figured out earlier, I can't divide 4 into 3, so I need to bring down the next digit, which is 8, down to the 8 to make it 38. So now, what number times 4 will equal to 38 without going over? I already found out that 4 times 8 is 32 right here. Maybe I can try 9. 4 times 9 is 36, so let's try that. 4 times 9. So this is 36. Alright, so I need to subtract that. And this would be 2. And 3 minus 3 is 0. So my remainder is 2. I don't have any more digits to bring down, so I am done with that. So I need to check my work. So I need to take my divisor and my quotient. Here's my divisor. And I'm going to multiply that with my quotient to see if I'm correct. Everything should equal my dividend. So I'm going to say 1,879 oops, times 4. 4 times 9 is 36. Carry my 3 over in the 10s. So I ask the next question. What is 4 times 7 is 28 plus 3 is 31. Carry my 3 over in the hundreds place. What is 4 times 8? 32 plus 3 is 35. And I need to carry my 3 over here. Add 3. And so, what is 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7. Okay. Not quite there, but I need to add my remainder to this, which is 2 plus 2. So this will equal to 7,000. Let me write that better. 518. And this proves that this is correct because it equals my dividend. So this is my answer.
1879 with a remainder of 2.